kind of a reverse video. Maybe I'll try to put it together forward too. But this is a master window switch, driver side switch out of a 2010 Mazda 10. Um, I disassembled it to see if the contacts on it had burned and they had, um, particularly this one and this one. What was going on is the driver side window switch would roll down but not roll up the passenger side window, but the passenger side switch worked fine. So I disassembled this, found the burned contacts. I cleaned them up with some electronics cleaner and Q-tips. So these, they had nice big black marks, basically how it works. I'm gonna try not to touch the contacts. Is there's these little, I assume they're the same material as brushes in an electric motor, but Basically, these come down and they connect the two halves of these switches. Because these switches actually just go to a microprocessor. They're not actually controlling the full voltage of the window going up and down. So, basically, this weird little flexible thing is the button section. Um, these pla white plastic things do pop off, but they're easy to pop on. Um, this is located with three pins. They go into these three holes. So, I'm going to put that one in. So now... This is located the way it's supposed to be. Then this circuit board, this is the actual switches that you see. This circuit board, this push button goes back. I think it's the window lock out, but um, it basically is one screw that holds it in on this side right there, and then on this side, um, it's, it's basically all held in with a plastic piece, but on this side, you will have the lockout button, which just has a little snap on it. Um, you can literally pry it off with whatever tool of your choosing. I, have a set of these plastic tools. So basically it snaps on there. You heard it snap. But that's your window lockout. Let's see with the flashlight. That should help. So, this screw goes in there, just a small Phillips head. Okay, so we're back, got myself a smaller screwdriver. So that screw goes in there. Um, the next piece is this white piece. It, it basically holds everything together. And that literally just clips together. Like five tabs, I think. But that, that holds it together. You can see that screw down there. Um... So now that that's in place, all your switches will work appropriately. Or, um, to take these out, my tool that worked well was just a razor blade knife. 
just slide it in here like that and then you just pry carefully start from one end work your way down but that's how that comes off um this piece the switch piece itself actually sits in this black part or in this one the top's painted silver it is held in by a screw at the front and two screws at the rear those screws are a t20 because why wouldn't they be a phillips head would be too easy so there's three of those that hold it in i probably should test this before i put it back in but i'm not going to it's either more broke or less broke than it initially was so it's worth pointing out that you don't necessarily need to remove this piece from this piece so you don't necessarily need the T20, you just need to take out that screw and pry out this white piece and then the switch assembly or the circuit board and stuff will drop out. So you don't necessarily need the T20, but it made it a little easier for me to maneuver. Um, then you have three connectors. All of the connectors are you squeeze here, push in on that, squeeze and pull out. It's easier said than done, of course. Uh, that one, you, that style one worked really well. These style ones didn't work quite as well, but that's the idea. Um, Let's see. I won't be able to do this one here. So, I'm going to get them partially plugged in, just lined up. Obviously, you can't mix them up. They're very different connectors. I'm going to get them partially plugged in and come back. Connectors, I got, just got them lined up basically, but you should be able to press them in and they'll click into place. You'll hear them click. Um, the actual hardest part of this project was getting this piece loose. As you can see, it's held on by these clips around the perimeter. Got Looks like on the front, you just have a pin. So basically you work your way down the side. Um, the way I did it is I started with that razor blade and then I got one of these thicker plastic pry tools in there and then literally just worked it down this way. Basically you get an air clip and then you twist just a little bit and it'll pop. Didn't require much force. Um, you do not need to take out this screw. So, this piece literally just clips in there. Once again. Okay, now the moment of truth, I obviously have not tested this, so. Oh, since I unplugged it, you have to reinitialize the um, auto feature. You pull it up all the way and it'll, you'll hear something click inside, push down all the way, and then Auto up should work. And 
auto down should work. Um, back windows work. Okay, front window, will it roll up? Drum roll, and it does. In fact, the auto up feature is working on it because that module did not lose power. It has its own wire run. But I did this on my mom's car. Hopefully she appreciates it. No parts, no expense. I feel like that's a good day. So, hopefully this helps somebody.